<laughs> now the pKa of this particular drug that is pKa is 8.6 pKa of this particular amino group is 8.6 now, if this drug is in NH2 form, it is hydrophobic. This is an hydrophobic form, hydrophobic. And this prefer to get into the cell as free diffusion. Because it is hydrophobic. Now, let's see the pK, pH of that particular area where the injection has been given. So, in the question, it says that pH has changed from a change in the pH is from 7.4, it has changed from 7.4 into 6.8. Basically, pH has dropped from 7.4 to 6.8. So, our pH of consideration here, so our pH here is 6.8. We are dealing with the 6.8 pH. Now, you know the pK of amino group and that is 8.6. The pK is 8.6. And the pH is 6.8. Now you know the relation between pH and pKa. So now the pKa is more than pH. When the pKa is more than pH, it means pH means there is a less pH than pKa. So it means pH is the solution has got more protons than relative to the amino group. So what will happen? Amino group will undergo protonation. When pKa is more than pH, there will be protonation. When pKa is less than pH, there will be deprotonation. Okay, that's a fundamental thing that you need to remember. Now, the pKa is more than pH, so the amino group will undergo protonation. It means it will become NH3+. plus. When it becomes NH3+, plus, now it's an ionized molecule, so this is ionized. This is ionized form. So, that means it is hydrophilic. So, since it is hydrophilic, how it is going to get in, into the cell? It has to use ion channel. So, it prefers to get into using ion channel. So, the question is where exactly in the ion channel it is going to bind. So, ion, ion channel is a protein channel. So, it has got different amino acids. So, since your drug is an, it has got amino group NH3 plus which is protonated now. It has a positive charge. Obviously, it is going to go and bind to and negatively charged amino acids in the ion channel in the domain intracellular domain of ion channel that's why the choice that is option c in the question is a negatively charged aspartyl or glutamyl residues and this is the answer for the question why because a ph 8.6.8 uh, pk 8.6 your drug is undergoing protonation becomes amino group Ionized NH3 plus, ionized form, hydrophilic, uses ion channel to get in. So, within the ion channel, it is going to interact with aspartyl and glutamyl residue. That's about the question, and the correct answer is option C. Thanks for watching.